Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, but you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video of mine. And today in this video, I just want to give my thoughts on the new DLC 2 Eclipse that was announced quite a few days ago. I think it was like March 31st uh, when it's coming out on April 19th for PlayStation 4 and probably the next month after, so May 19th for Xbox One. You guys have probably seen millions of videos circling around the internet already on this, but I do want to cover the information just for you guys who haven't heard of it or just who are like not keeping as up to date as you know as other people you know just people who depend on me to get their content because a lot of you guys don't watch the bigger youtubers and then you know i thank you for that thank you for watching me first over someone like t martin you know that really means a lot that you go to someone who has 1500 subscribers and that's another thing guys i hit 1500 subscribers yesterday posted a tweet thank you so much for the support guys it's insane it took me about i'd say it took me from may 5th until feb until like mid february may 5th 2015 until mid-February 2016 to get my first thousand subscribers and now less than two months later I already got another 500 like a month and a half later. I got another 500 subscribers So it's just like crazy the support you guys have been giving me is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much Let's get right into what I want to talk about this video There's something important that makes me like feel the need to upload this video simply You know other than the fact that I want to talk about these new multiplayer maps and I'm going to actually give this guy a shout out because he's pretty cool. But let's get into the video first and I will explain, you know, kind of what's going on with this. So anyway, there's four new multiplayer maps that were announced. The first one is Spire. And this takes multiplayer combat, according to Activision, to a futuristic suborbital airport terminal set high in the clouds. And multiple levels and open areas promote intense mid-range combat around a clean, high-tech civilian environment. Watch your step because one wrong move could send you plummeting back through the stratosphere. The map sounds pretty cool. And, you know, like, honestly, I trust Treyarch where they're going with these maps. I mean, the pictures in, like, the little, uh, like, the advertisement look pretty cool. I will be doing map previews for all these maps. I already have Rift and Verge done. Now we just got to see the map previews for Spire and Knockout. So if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and check out those previous videos that I uploaded to kind of get a glimpse and a first look at the new multiplayer maps. Moving on to the second map, which I uploaded yesterday, was Rift which is where you head to the core of a harsh, futuristic military complex set high above an active caldera, which is just a volcano. And these rift tunnels and forces tight, intense engagements where the only way through is forward. You can utilize the unique core movement opportunities to outsmart and outplay enemies as you traverse through the suspended rail system. That sounds so awesome, and the fact that it's above a volcano is just epic. I forget the map. I don't I, feel like it was called like magma or lava from black ops 2 but if you touch the lava you died and it was so awesome like i love that map i hope there's some type of element where lava comes out of the map in rift that would be absolutely amazing moving on to the third map they mentioned and that is knockout where you're housed in a traditional shiloh temple in a, a retro twist Knockout sets the stage for a bloody kung fu tournament. This mid-sized map showcases a sharp contrast between the mid-range engagements of the traditional exterior architecture and the tight close quarters of an e eclectic 1970s styled interior. Map sounds really cool. I don't know, it, it, maybe it could be some like uh, Fallout 4 Blood Dragon type stuff going on in there, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And lastly, moving on to Verge, this is the Bonsai map remake, and it says in the description, in this reimagination of the classic Call of Duty World of War map Bonsai, Verge drops multiplayer combat into the center of a distant post-apocalyptic future where two warring factions are entrenched in constant battle. You can take control of the key bridge, fortresses, tunnel systems, and waterfalls as you engage in high-speed action through this medium-sized map. In my recollection, Bonsai wasn't too medium-sized. I think it was more of a bigger map. I mean, close-range engagement set in a mid to, like, big-sized map, I think. And then lastly, I want to move on to the zombies, and that's Zetsubo Noshima. The highly anticipated all-new entry in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombie storyline that spans the four DLC map packs for Black Ops 3 this year. The Origins characters continue on their mission to stop the zombie apocalypse not only in this universe but in all universes. Our heroes find themselves stranded on a remote Pacific island which is the home to the Division 9 facility, a secret biological research lab whose experiments with element 115 and its effect on human, animal, and plant biology has created horrors beyond belief. Zetsubo Noshima features a foliage-rich island map including new terrifying zombie enemies, a variety of innovative transport mechanics, more devastating traps, and a classic zombie side quest. Watch the prologue trailer now here. 
you guys can obviously go to Charlie Intel. You can also check out the Call of Duty YouTube channel to see exactly what is going on with the Zombies trailer from Zetsubo Noshima. Last thing I want to remark on, and this is where I want to give the guy a shout out. I want to give this guy, FPS Arker, a huge shout out. He joined Team Razor way back before it was abandoned. I just found this team on YouTube. They're, it, they're not active anymore, unfortunately, but they have so many awesome videos over there on their channel. And this kid, or I shouldn't say kid, excuse me, this guy, he is outstanding. I love his content, so I'm trying to keep as active as possible on his channel. I will link his channel down in the description below, actually. And he mentioned something really interesting about the knockout map, which is the Shiloh and Temple, like, bloody kung fu tournament map. He said that the developers for these maps, you know, Treyarch developers on their live stream said that it would play like slums from Black Ops 2. So he made a video talking about how slums could be remade in Black Ops 3, which I want to know in the comments section down below if you guys think this is possible. Because if you guys don't remember that map, you know, obviously slums, it's, it was the slums of like a South American village, or like somewhere in Panama or something like that, Costa Rica, I don't even know. But... They were the slums, it's, you know, an impoverished area where just a bunch of poor people live. It's really sad, but it made for an awesome map. And I hope that this is remade, just because there was a raid remake leak for Black Ops, uh, for a Black Ops 3 map for the Awakening DLC. So maybe slums can come true, we will see. We'll just, you know, have to wait it out until April 19th for it to come out on PS4. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like down below. My like goal for this video is 25 likes. And as always, if you guys are brand new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe for more Call of Duty content over here on my channel. And like I said, let me know down in the comment section below if you would like a Slums map remake for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I thought it was a pretty cool map. With that being said, guys, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next video. Adios, amigos.